Yahya Hanash is well enough to return to school after months in recovery. He and his classmates were returning home from a field trip to a mosque where they visited the graves of those killed in the war. But their bus was bombed in an airstrike on a marketplace in Saada, in northwestern Yemen. The driver got out of the bus to go to the supermarket and buy us some snacks. Then the plane came and attacked us. Forty students were killed and dozens injured. The attack was widely condemned around the world, and Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates accepted responsibility, describing it as an unjustified mistake. But they didn't apologize. The attack broke his son's legs and left him with many shrapnel wounds and severe anxiety. Now, Yahya's father is calling for those responsible to be held accountable. Sometimes he suffers because of his wounds. Some nights he wakes up from a nightmare and yells and screams about fighter jets and buses and things. Along with those of his friends who survived, he's still haunted by what he saw. My friends were martyred. Some of them ripped to pieces. Some of them they didn't find any of their remains. One of my friends we found but couldn't recognize because of all the shrapnel in his body. And yet, somehow, he's able to return to what's left of the bus, where he lost so many friends. The last place he played with them before they died. And somehow, he can still manage to smile. Sarah Balter, TRT World.